Welcome, one and all. Today we will be exploring the Luxor and the legends and history that surrounds its existence. Luxor is an ancient Egyptian themed hotel located on the southern part of the Las Vegas Strip. Many will instantly recognise the Luxor for its pyramid shape, bright sky beam and the sphinx that proudly sits facing the Las Vegas Strip. Circus Circus Enterprises commissioned Project X to join their existing Excalibur Hotel and Casino. The turnaround from announcement to opening day was astonishing. William Bennett, the CEO of Circus Circus Enterprises, announced the project in 1991. Groundbreaking took place on the 21st of April 1992, and by the 15th of October 1993, the Luxor had opened. With a budget of $290 million, the Luxor ultimately cost $375 million. At opening day, the Luxor was the tallest building on the Las Vegas Strip. However, this only lasted for 11 days as Treasure Island Resort and Casino opened on the 26th of October 1993 taking the title from the Luxor. Good evening, Sarah's off tonight, and the Luxor is off to a successful launch of its grand opening. Crowds pushed through the front door less than 24 hours ago. On opening day, 15th of October, 1993, a crowd of 10,000 were in attendance. Oh, it's it's uh, fabulous, really fabulous. Wonderful. Pretty, pretty amazing what they've done here. It looks great, it's fabulous. We sort of figured it was gonna be solid on the inside. All the more impressive that it's so hollow. The Luxor's casino was 120,000 square feet, had 2,526 hotel rooms. At the time, the world's largest atrium with a volume of 22 million cubic meters. The Nile River, which was a riverboat ride which transported guests around the pyramid. Only this discovery you must explore yourself. Within Luxor, you can voyage back 3,000 years on the River Nile, past elaborate murals illustrating the rich history of the ancient Egyptian empire, and look upon the seated Ramses of Abu Simbel. There was King Tut's tomb and museum. A replica of King Tutankhamun's tomb is found in the Valley of the Kings. During the years of examining King Tut's tomb, hundreds of photographs and drawings were made, which is how, within Luxor, we were able to create an exact replica of the tomb, including beautiful recreations of the art, jewelry, and other treasures Howard Carter discovered many years ago. Other opening day attractions included In Search of the Obelisk, A Wild Chase Through a Mysterious Underground Pyramid, Luxor Live, an out-of-this-world talk show where guests witnessed a 3D solar eclipse and Theatre of Time, a magical glimpse into three alternative visions of the future. Inside there, they've got a screen seven stories high. No kidding. And seats that go up 70 feet. From there, you actually visualize the future. Also, there was Virtual Land, an area where guests could experience virtual reality tours. This is it. This is Virtual Land a high-tech video playground where you can fly an F-14 simulator like this one. Wow. Believe me, you don't want to try that if you're prone to seasickness. You see, Luxor is really a collision of the past, present, and future. Hotel guests could enjoy a spa, gym, swimming pools, and a hair salon. Another opening day feature since removed was a laser show. The Sphinx used to project the word Luxor from its eyes onto the neighbouring pyramid. Elias and Jody were two animatronic camels named after two close friends of the Luxor's head developer. Their first time was in the casino, then the lobby, and finally the walkway between Escalibur and the Luxor. After 10 years, they were removed in 2003. Some of the first guests complained that their hotel rooms were incomplete and not up to standard on opening day. This may have been as a result of the short construction timescales of just 177 days. William Bennett, the CEO of Circus Circus Enterprises, resigned in 1994 after disagreements with the company regarding the plot of land which would later become the neighbouring Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino. In 1996, just three years after the Luxor opened, it would already receive a $240 million expansion which included an IMAX theatre to replace the Theatre of Time attraction. After only three years of operation, the Nile River tour was removed. In 1998, a further 2,000 hotel rooms were added by building two additional towers east and west, which cost a further $675 million. The expansion brought the Luxor's total room count to 4,408. 2004 brought the opening of the sky bridge between Luxor and Mandalay Bay. A fantastic addition, connecting the two hotels through a convenient mall walkway. 
In 2005, shortly after William Bennett's death, MGM Resorts International purchased Luxor's parent firm Mandalay Resort Group, formerly Circus Circus Enterprises. Mandalay Resort Group was made up of the Luxor, Mandalay Bay, Excalibur, Circus Circus and one half of the Monte Carlo. They purchased the company for $8 million. Another remodel was announced in 2007 by the new owners MGM Resorts International. MGM spent $300 million on renovations and much to many of the hotel's frequent visitors' disappointment, this involved removing much of the Luxor's character and theming. The aim was to add a more modern and adult theme to the resort. In line with the removal of the ancient Egyptian theming, 2008 brought the closure of the replica of King Tutankhamun's tomb and the Luxor donated its replica artifacts to the Las Vegas Natural History Museum. The LAX nightclub closed in 2017 and was replaced by the eSports Arena which hosts professional gaming events. The Luxor is thought to be cursed. There are a couple of theories which explore why this could be. Circus Circus Enterprises certainly started with the right idea. Replica ancient Egyptian artifacts were imported which closely followed each historical detail as best they could down to the materials used. Attention to ancient Egyptian detail only stretched as far as the replica artifacts, which were created for the King Tutankhamun display. Beyond this point, the Luxor didn't follow ancient Egyptian traditions. It is claimed two sphinxes are required to protect a pyramid. The Luxor only has one. Triangles and pyramid shapes have mystical meanings and properties. Some describe pyramids as a vortex of energy or symbolic of a big consciousness of strength and energy. Some believe that unless the shape of an eye is positioned on top of the pyramid, the Luxor will potentially attract dark energy. Most Egyptian pyramids were built as tombs for pharaohs and their consorts. The superstitious among us may view this as unlucky. Another theory is that the site of the Luxor used to be used by the mob to bury their victims. Therefore, the site could be deemed unlucky as a result of this. Many tragic events have occurred since the Luxor opened. Reportedly, two construction workers died while building the Luxor, although various reports have suggested up to seven workers may have passed away as a result of the construction. The construction itself would have been complex due to the shape of the building and potentially a hazard to those who constructed the resort. Some guests reported seeing ghosts of construction workers while riding the Nile River tour. In 1996, a woman fell to her death after jumping from the 26th story of the atrium the fall was thought to have killed her instantly. The police struggled to identify her as she had no ID. Reportedly her ghost has been seen roaming the 26th floor of the Luxor. Other accidental falls have occurred at the Luxor and have resulted in fatalities. A bomb exploded in the parking garage in 2007. This was believed to have been aimed at an employee who worked at the Luxor food court and was dating one of the murderer's ex-girlfriends. Sadly the victim died as a result and two men were found guilty of murder. Luxor's operations were said to have continued as usual that day. In 2010, a fight took place in one of the Luxor's suites. Two friends, both athletes, fought and resulted in one of the friends dying from their injuries. Another fight took place in 2012, where two colleagues fought next to one of the inclinators. One fell against the elevator door and then fell 25 feet down the lift shaft. His condition is unknown. In 2012, Legionella bacteria was found in water samples. Three guests contracted Legionnaire's disease and one died as a result. Today the Luxor is operated by MGM Resorts International and still has a lot to offer. The resort contains 4,407 rooms, a 120,000 square foot casino made up of over 2,000 slot machines and 87 table games, four swimming pools, a gym, spa, wedding chapel, bars, clubs, restaurants, eSports arena, Blue Man Group, Carrot Top, Bodies the Exhibition, which has its own controversy due to the exhibition being unable to validate the origins of its featured cadavers, and the Titanic exhibition, where visitors have witnessed strange goings on such as ghostly figures being seen. However, it is worth noting that the exhibition do run haunted ghost tours around Halloween. The Luxor also has a free tram which connects its neighbouring sister hotels Excalibur and Mandalay Bay. In 2020, rumours began to circulate that the Luxor would be demolished due to MGM Resorts International being unable to retheme the outside of the hotel 
as such theming is now viewed as a 90s trend and now outdated. Another theory is that demolition could be required due to the well-documented structural issues with the Luxor. The Luxor is built in the Las Vegas desert. This comes with its own complications. The Las Vegas Code Enforcement could decide to condemn the building if it is no longer deemed structurally sound, or the worst case scenario, the Luxor could collapse or sink into the ground. There have been rumours that the Luxor's southeast corner of the basement was condemned in 2011. The Luxor's neighbouring system hotel, Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino encountered a number of issues during construction. The problems included excessive and uneven settling of the soil beneath the building, which resulted in the building's core sinking almost 19 inches. One of the wings settled by 2 inches. They resolved the issues by installing 536 micropiles which are 200 foot long metal pipes filled with grout and capped with a hydraulic jack. This cost anywhere between $8 million to $10 million. As a result of the global pandemic, the Luxor closed its doors on the 17th of March 2020, along with the rest of MGM Resort International's Las Vegas hotels. On the 25th of June 2020, it reopened after its three month closure and offered an in-room COVID-19 testing service for resort guests. What does the future hold for the Luxor? Will the demolition rumours come to fruition? Or will we be treated to many more decades of the Luxor lighting up the Las Vegas Strip? Let me know in the comments what you think will happen to this legendary 90s hotel. That's all for today, but check in soon for more amusement tourist history.